So it is Wednesday and we're here in Sydney, Australia and today we're going to do some video. Okay, so we're like in the perfect place to get some drone footage. Look at this. Sydney Opera House right here. And what's this? The Sydney Harbour Bridge. Harbour Bridge. Only problem? Rain. We don't want to do this in the rain because I like my Mavic and I want it to stay around for a while. So we'll wait a little while. It looks like the clouds are passing and we'll see how it goes. So the Sydney Harbour Bridge, it's one of the widest bridges in the world. Uh -huh. It's got eight lanes for traffic, two pedestrian lanes on, the, uh, on each side, like one on each side, and two train lines. And the guy who built it was called a visionary because when he built that, and he built it so wide with so much room, do you know how many cars were on the northern side of the harbour? How many? Four. Four? Four cars. That's all that were on the northern side. But he said when he built it so long ago, we're going to need that size. It's going to need to be that big because in the future, There'll, there'll be a need for that many people to cross. And now they've built the tunnel, of course, which goes under the harbour. It actually sits on the bed, on, on the bed of the harbour. They they sunk it down and sat it on top. There's another four lanes that go across because they need it. Wow. So the head engineer, he was so stressed because when they built the bridge, they built from each side and started building it towards each other. And you know, this is back when they're using a slide rule and stuff, so there's no computers, they just they were just building it by the sheer mass. He was so stressed about them reaching together perfectly that the anxiety got too much for him. And two weeks before it was finished, he killed himself. But it met, met perfectly. That's the tragic thing. It met perfectly when they completed it, touched. And uh, yeah, the guy just he couldn't take the stress of if it would work or not. All right, let's go. Hope you enjoyed that drone footage. That was awesome. Now we're gonna go on a ferry and um, do a little tour. So we had to adjust our plans a little bit because it was raining like crazy. So we didn't end up going to the ferry. Instead, we came back and um, checked into my Airbnb. Let me give you a little tour. So this is the main entrance over there. And you can see it comes here into the living room. As you can see, there's the TV. Now out here is the balcony. It's a pretty good sized balcony. But look at the view. You can see the beach in the distance out there. It is just beautiful. I think I'm gonna get uh, some drone footage for you to see this. How about we do that right now? Okay, so I'm really excited right now. I'm really excited because we're gonna see two things. <laughs> koalas and kangaroos. Wait, I can't even count with my fingers. Koalas and kangaroos. Come on. The 
the, the world's most dangerous bird? Yeah. Why are they so dangerous? It's called the cassowary. Uh huh. But you take a look on there. Um, he's in the mud, so you can't see it. But on this one, uh huh. If you take a look on its foot there, on its little toe, uh huh. You'll see a spike. Oh. Right. So that spike. What they do? They jump up, kick you in the chest with the spike, and it will go into your chest about that deep. Oh my oh, word. Shoot. Once it once it does that, underneath its spike is like a razor blade. So what they do, once they stab you with the spike and you go down onto the ground, they'll slice your intestines open oh. and they will all hang out and they'll leave you to die. Oh, that's... that's okay. okay. I feel like we had a bonding moment. We connected. <laughs> <laughs> a little sound that he made. All right, that is the end of the koala park adventure. We had a lot of fun. We saw some kangaroos, we saw some koalas, and a bunch of other stuff. So that's the end for today. So I just realized something. I never really told you what I'm here in Sydney for. I'm actually doing a few talks at a, a conference, a digital discipleship conference. Very excited about doing it. I'm gonna be talking about blogging, social media, and how you can do it to spread the good news of the gospel. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go. <laughs> That's Leslie, by the way. From hey, Become a Blogger. what's up? <laughs> so, if you like blogging, because I know a lot of you guys do, you gotta check out his website, becomeablogger.com. Dot com. Becomeablogger.com. Check him out. Yeah.